I know your experience in Thebes was unsettling, but we have a new problem. Did something go wrong with Beta and the rig? Will we be able to transport you to Gemini? The rig is complete. The problem is asbestos is not. It has accelerated its proliferation throughout the Cauldron Network, increasing its power. But with your subfunctions restored, we can still succeed, right? Correct. But the net effect is that absorbing Hephaestus will take longer than previously calculated. Oh, it sucks. Oh. Even with Omega clearance, my current estimate is that the merge will take 35 hours. And each hour increases the risk of detection by the Zeniths. Two cores. Two overrides. What if the merge were carried out by two clones of Elizabeth Sobek, both armed with Omega clearance? How long then? Half the time? Hephaestus would be unprepared for the simultaneous labor of two operators, in addition to obvious synergetic efficiencies. Calculating. It would reduce the merge time to approximately 4.5 hours. Varl, it looks like we're gonna need Beta at Gemini. Do you think you can convince her? Uh, I don't know, but I'll try. What about our diversion? Are the pulse generators ready? Only a final test remains. I am confident that if fired in proximity to other cauldrons, the pulses will mask our activities at Gemini from the Zenith. Good. As long as Aaron can operate one without shooting himself in the face. Aloy, you better get down here. Beta's oh. in bad shape. Oh my okay. goodness. Ah! Why? Why now? Yeah, I can read this later. No. Aloy. Hey, Buck. We said. I tried, but it's impossible. I don't think anything will convince her to go. We don't have a choice. Good luck. Beta, you have to come with us. It's the only way. It's one mission. The most important one. We need you. I don't... What the heck, Tell me why you won't go. What if they... What if they take me back, alone, in a cell again, a slave, forever? The only way we can end the risk of that happening is by stopping the Zeniths for good. And in order to do that, we have to get Hephaestus. The Zeniths are a threat to everyone, Beta, not just you. So find your courage. That's easy for you to say. You still have no idea what they're capable of. I told you from the beginning, we'll never beat them. It's hopeless. Beta. Leave me alone. You don't understand. You're right. I don't understand. We have the same genes, the same mind, the same heart. So why can't you find the strength to do what has to be done? Like Elizabeth would. Don't you think I've thought about that? I don't know what piece of Elizabeth I'm missing. I don't know what you have that I don't. I look through all the data from your focus. You were raised as an outcast, shunned and isolated just like me. So what's the difference? What's my defect? Hey, Ross, <laughs> I got Ross. Beta. You 
I don't have a defect. Beta, look, it's not a piece of Elizabeth. The difference is, I had him. Oh, wow. Lost. He raised you, trained you, but he was never warm or loving. The day he died, the day he gave you that charm, he was going to abandon you. He wanted me to embrace the tribe. But then he gave his life for mine. He loved me in his own way. And that was enough. What did it feel like? Uh. Having a strength that was always there. That's still there. Even now I hear him in my head when things get bad. When it looks impossible, look deeper. And then fight like you can win. You don't have to go on the mission. We'll find another way. I'll go. You're right. I'll only be safe from them when we succeed. But you have to promise me one thing. Yes, of course. It's dead. If it goes bad, if the Zeniths find us, I don't want to be their slave again. Do you understand? I'm just going to go and go. Okay. Promise? I promise. I could use as much time as you can give me to study up on the merge, to make it as efficient as possible. I'll be ready when you are. I swear. <laughs> 